Hi everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the multi-section solid feature. So let us open part design. Enter a name. So let us enter multi-section solid. Click OK. And you can find the option directly under the insert. You can go to sketch based features and you can select multi-section solid or you can access the same option from the sketch based features toolbar and click on the icon so now we go to the multi-section solid definition dialog box and in this dialog box you can observe two tabs uh, let us take the coupling okay after completing the coupling we can go to spine guides and at the end we can see the stream mutation now I am going to explain three of them ratio, tangency, then curvature, and vertices. Further, let us take an example. Say so I will take two parallel planes at a distance of one second. So, right now the units are in meters. Uh, let us change the units. Go to tools, options. parameters and measures units and select length and change the units to mm click ok now the units are in mm I'll select a plane and offset it at a distance 100 mm and you have to create one more plane in reverse direction click ok now you can hide the remaining planes so now we are having three parallel planes on which we are going to take three sections now first of all select this plane and go to sketch here let us take a circle next come back to part design select this plane and go back to sketcher and here let us take a rectangle and come back to part design again select the third plane and go to sketch here let us take hexagon I'll come back to part now see so here we are having three sections now I want to apply material between these three sections further we can use multi section solid now first of all we have to select the sections in the tab and we have to choose the sections in a sequential order so the, if this is my section 1 this should be the section 2 and this should be the section 3 now you can observe it so this is section section 1 and this is section 2 and this is section 3 and after selecting the sections you have to choose a coupling mode and we have to choose this mode depending upon the uh, sections see here we are having a different type of sections first one is circle and next one is rectangle and the last one is hexagon if you observe the circle see on a circle we didn't have any vertex points but if you observe this rectangle we are having four vertex points and if you observe the hexagon you are having six vertex points so depending upon this vertex points you, you can choose the coupling mode and the first one is ratio so if you select ratio as the coupling mode irrespective of the number of coupling points you can apply multi-section solid to any kind of section okay it doesn't matter simply you have to change the position of the closing points to adjust the first edge and uh, it will generate ratio you can go for tangency and curvature or vertices if all the sections are having equal number of vertex, vertex points okay now first of all let us try with ratio 
and see right now I'm not changing the position of the closing points so click preview now can you observe this see we are getting a twist but I want to generate the material normally without any twist in the solid for that you can replace the closing points now select this and replace it to somewhere here and next replace it to somewhere here and after replacing the points you have to check the directions so you can observe the arrows at the closing points okay. all the arrows should point in the same direction either clockwise or counterclockwise now let us click preview now this is our multi-section solid now if you change the mode to rendering mode to shading with edges now count the number of edges so here these are deformation edges okay. we need six edges because the maximum number of uh, vertex points in a hexagon is six so totally we need six vertex points what okay uh, coupling edges but here we are getting some unnecessary edges so instead of using this method we can go for tangency then curvature but for doing that we have to create two more points on the rectangle and uh, six points on the circle because see for the solid the maximum vertex point section is hexagon okay we are having six vertex points on hexagon so we need the same number of points on each and every section so first of all uh, before applying multi-section solid we need to generate equal number of points on the sections so let us cancel it now here on this rectangle we need to generate two points and on this circle we have to generate six points so if you want to generate points on the circle you can go back to sketch and select equidistant point and select the circle and generate six points and click ok now come back to partition now we are having six points on the circle and six vertex points on the hexagon now we need two more points on this rectangle so let us edit it and see we need points on the rectangle here and here but see in circle we can uh, coming to rectangle we cannot generate them within the sketch okay so you can generate them outside or you can use one more option uh, that is see here you can generate output feature okay, use your uh, you can use output feature option or you can directly generate them using reference point option from our design workbench now select this point and select this curve and pick a point next okay. now we got the points Okay, after that you can choose multi-section solid and select these three sections and after that you can choose tangency then curvature and after choosing the tangency then curvature as the coupling mode you have to add the coupling lines manually okay so that right click here and click add and you have to start from the section one say so i'm joining this point to this vertex and from here i'm joining it to this vertex now this is my first coupling line next click add coupling and add the second one from here to here next here right click add coupling from here to here next okay in the same manner you can add couplings in a sequential order
now we got the coupling lines or coupling curves and after generating the coupling curves uh, we have to look for the closing points okay now the rule is uh, we have to place all the closing points in a single coupling line now let us replace this to coupling line 1 next so already the closing point 2 is at coupling line 1 so no need, no need to replace it I click replace and replace it here after that observe the direction now the directions are uh, the arrows are pointing in the same direction so simply you can click preview and we got our solid and you can click open now can you observe it so there are no unnecessary edges now this is the exact model now if you want to generate a twist uh, for suppose if you want to couple this vertex to this vertex simply modify the coupling curves remove them and join this vertex to a vertex somewhere here on the rectangle and to this point on the circle okay you can uh, adjust the coupling curves and you can generate the twist but the coupling curves should not intersect each other that's the only rule next but if you want to generate twist while using tangency then curvature uh, it is somewhat time taking process because you have to delete all the coupling uh, curves and you have to replace them so uh, in case if you want to modify a model later then it is better to generate on the model using vertices as the coupling model now let us uh, go with the vertices I'm deleting this multi section solid leaving the aggregate elements now if you want to use vertices as the coupling mode you need uh, equal number of set uh, segments or equal number of vertex points okay but see these points are not vertex points we are adding them outside the sketch and uh, they are just coupling points okay and here also see uh, these are just coupling points they are not vertex points okay now if you want to generate vertex points you have to break the circle into six parts then automatically we will get a point here and in the same manner already we are having four vertex points on this rectangle so we have to break this side and this side into two equal halves so that we can get two, two vertex points so let us go to sketch and you can remove these points first of all further you can use point filter select all the points delete them deactivate it next take an axis and apply angle and take it 30 degrees and rotate it increase the instances to 5 and the angular spacing is 60 and now you can break them using break and keep And if you come back to part design, you can observe this for six vertex points. Now let us go back to rectangle, and here you need to break it in the axis here and here. So let us take an axis and use the trim and 
let us break this rectangle. I come back to RGC. And you can remove these two points. We need we don't need these two points. Now we got six vertex points on all the sections. Now let us go to multi section solid. Now you can choose the sections one, two, three. And after that change the coupling mode to vertices. And here you don't have to add the uh, coupling curves manually. Okay, automatically it will change. Now replace it to somewhere here. And I click replace it to somewhere. Now check the direction and click preview. Okay, now we got the multi sections. And if you want to apply twist, simply you can replace it to somewhere here. Click preview. Now this is a normal uh, filling uh, between three sections using multi sections solid. This is how we use the coupling modes for generating multi sections solid. And in the next extension I will go for spine and guide curves. Thank you very much.